guys, welcome to Brian's Man Cave. So, decided to try this new kind of, maybe a little series. I don't know if it's going to be a big series, a little series, if we're going to do a bunch of these games, or maybe just this one. Um, but I thought I'd try it out, and that's to focus on some bad games. Now, yes, every system has their share of bad games. In fact, you know, the Atari had a ton of them. Um, the Atari 2600, anyways. Um, and, and, you know, some people even blame the crash on just bad games in general. And so, I just thought, let, it's time to try and do a little bit of a focus on some of these games. Try and play them. Because you always hear these rumors and stuff, you know, people say E.T. is a bad game, and every time I read that comment, I'm like, seriously, have you played Firefly on the Atari 2600? That's a bad game. E.T. is at least playable. Uh, <laughs> but anyways, yeah. And I just realized, like, I haven't actually really given this game a try. Um, you know, I probably popped it in here and there, and I was just like, what is going on? So I thought, let's do a, a, a little bit of a playthrough of this game and, and see just how bad it is. I mean, it's it's not horribly bad. Like, it's not it's not like you can't play the game. It's just, I don't know. Well, let's just play it and see what happens. Um, so I think I need to, like, set it to, I don't know, change the slot. Um, that's what I hate about not playing on a real Atari sometimes. It's like, you know, the buttons are all whatever. Eh, whoa! Okay, yeah, so that, um, that thing that's going up and down there, that's me, I guess, underneath that funny-looking smiley face. Uh, oh, jeez, is he giving me the finger? What? Oh, well. Um, <laughs> I think he heard me. Uh, yeah, so you're in some kind of, like, weird dimension, old black hole thing. I guess you're supposed to be a firefly. I can kind of see that. Um, maybe not. I don't know. And those things down there, <laughs> whatever. And so you can see these things come in in groups of threes, and you, you gotta shoot them. And shooting in this game is, is kind of awkward, because you can only shoot in one direction that you're facing in. Um, but it's hard to tell what direction you're actually facing in. I think that's a diamond ring. Um, yeah. I mean, but other than that, like, the, the graphics, there's just, it's just absent. Like, there's just, it's just a big block space. Um, alright. So what are those? Snakes? Are those snakes? What are they, what are those things? Okay, so you just get treasure. You just keep moving on. I think it... Did I just die? What? what? What's happening here? He keeps giving me the finger! <laughs> Stop it! Okay, so we're gonna... Oh, I, okay. So that was like a, a killer pumpkin thing. Um, for whatever reason, there's killer pumpkins. And then these things come out. Oh, well, that's the crown, I guess? And... What are those? Bats? Are those bats? I know that. Bats in video games, right? Bats. Um, yeah. I don't know if that middle finger is supposed to tell me something, but <laughs> I think it's supposed to be a joystick. Uh, it's supposed to be the Atari joystick or something, maybe? What happened there? Okay, so... And let's just take a minute to talk about that horrendous sound that they're calling music. Um, you know, I always, like, praise sometimes Atari games when they have, like, a, a running soundtrack throughout the game. I mean... Things like Pitfall, you know, where they have a great soundtrack that can run through the game and, and keep playing and playing and playing. But when it sounds like a muddled, muddled up mess of just, I don't know, it's, it's almost like as if someone just took a keyboard and just started mashing on the keyboard and said, there's your, your soundtrack, now put it in the game. Um, whether that's true or not, I don't know. <laughs> I'm sure whoever composed the music was, was trying to come up with something. But it just starts to get on your nerves. Um, yeah, and I can't get by this flaming pumpkin guy. Who looks surprisingly like the white guy at the top there that keeps giving me the finger. Um, but yeah, I, I'm just mashing my button pretty much trying to kill these things. And I, I, I can never know what direction I'm firing in. Like... I just can't get over that middle finger. It's, just, it's hilarious. It's, it just does it. He's just like, screw you, man. You suck at this game. <laughs> um, 
Okay, so I'm gonna get that. I, I don't even know what what I even selected. I, I I heard there's like a practice, or I read there's a practice mode for this game. Uh, but the manual, the manual itself is riddled with um, errors and stuff, and it doesn't really explain too well how to play the game. Like it, it kind of does. And it says like there's a practice mode where you have like unlimited lives. I'm starting to think that this is this is it, but I I can't tell. I don't know what is going on because I don't see a score happening. So all I could hear is that that music. Now this is when you know in the 80s you would turn off your TV uh, sound, you know, turn the volume down and just blast your Ghetto Blaster. And, you know, pop in your favorite favorite uh, 80s tune and and you know forget it. Like even in the 90s sometimes, you know, with the, even with the Nintendo. Uh, after a while, you know, playing the same game over and over again, uh, the music would just get irritating, and, and you'd be like, that's enough, and put in your uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers or something. <laughs> or Nirvana, or Nirvana, or Nirvana, however you want to pronounce Nirvana. And, and you know, have your own soundtrack. Oh, jeez. Okay, I, I still don't even know what the heck I'm doing. I, I'm just kind of trying to get through each board. Um... I don't know if there's a point to this or not. I don't know what those things at the bottom are doing. They don't seem to be doing anything. I seem to be dying and getting the finger. And yeah, that's that's pretty much the extent of this game. It doesn't really do much else. And uh, so yeah, like I say, when people say things like E.T. sucks on the Atari and E.T. caused the crash, and that is complete hogwash. This, this is what caused the crash. If anything caused the crash, it was this this pile of jank. <laughs> Anyways, he's still giving me the finger, um, but that's okay. Um, but yeah, this is this is Firefly. This was the game that, uh, well, it was, you know, it was a series of games. I, I think there was one called Sorcerer and um, made by the same company, Mythicon. Um, whatever. And, you know, speaking of that, there was a lot of companies that branded their, their stuff on these bad games, like Chuck the Chase Wagon or whatever it was called. Um, which I actually do have that cartridge, um, and I, I did a video on that game a very long time when I first started my channel around there, um, and that one's pretty terrible too. Anyways, hope you liked the video. Um, I was just trying to have some fun with this one. I don't know if if this is something that you like, I will do more, and um, if I can, I'm sure there's a ton of bad games out there that I can play. Anyways, hope you liked the video. Leave some comments down below. Hope you subscribe. Talk to you later.